Hey guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Boruto episode 163. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Last time we had, uh, we still have Deepa on the move. I don't think we saw him at all last episode, except for maybe a little bit of recap of him leaving. Uh, we have mysterious people showing up at the end, probably more trouble for, uh, for Boruto and the gang, right? Like, they're, they're trying to run from all these people and then even more show up, but they were Shinobi this time, I think, right? Um... Rather than just being, like, gangsters in the town or, or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, last episode we spent the whole time of them just kind of, like, running, fleeing. They took the airship, but then it got shot down and, and, and all that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more of this arc because it's, uh, it's pretty fun so far. So, yeah, let's get started, shall we? All right, we're going to start here in five, four, three, two, one, now. All right. That's right, they, they got saved by the kids. Yep. This is recap, though, right? They, uh... This is good, though, because it's actually been a little bit since I watched this. I took a little bit of a little mini vacation while I was doing some other stuff. Finishing up, uh, some of my other, uh... Shit I had going. The poison, yo. Yeah. And this is where they get jumped. Yep. Jeez. Oh! That dude! Cloud! Huh! <laughs> Proclaimed. Is that the same dude from, uh, Old Naruto? The one that was, like, always worrying? He was like, what if, what if I kick this pebble and it knocks into a bigger pebble that knocks into a bigger pebble and then destroys the hidden leaf and then they got there and it was, like, destroyed or some shit? I don't know if that's him or not. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't, I don't know if they're antagonistic. I think that is him. I recognize that name. Nice. Yup. He was always with her. Okay. Alright, so they weren't bad guys. I imagine they're going to be there to, to help, right? So, uh, if I'm... <laughs> if I'm a little loopy or out of it, if I, like... If you notice me, like, spacing out or anything, it's very late at night. I decided to, uh... I almost just didn't bother recording tonight because I am just, like, a little bit of ahead of Patreon right now. Although, after my break, I'm coming up on the point... Well, actually... I think I just released on Patreon the most recent video that I watched. So, um, yeah, I released 60, I, I released 162 today and now I'm watching 163. So I have no stored up episodes. Um, so that's why I really wanted to watch tonight, but it's, uh, it's like an hour before when I, when I normally go to bed. So I'm, I'm already getting in that like really tired mindset and I'm probably going to do one more show after this too. Uh, but I should be fine, though. Especially with all these damn bright lights on me. <laughs> damn cameras needing proper lighting.
All right. Fair enough. Yep. Damn, he can tell just by looking at it. Land of Haze. Oh, yep, this is, yep, it, this is definitely him. <laughs> no, that's confirmed. I was, I was pretty confirmed because they said, uh, Chocho's mom, and he was the one that was always with her in the same, uh, they were in the same three-man team. He hasn't grown out of this, nice. I like the consistency in his character, though. <laughs> Watch there be an actual explosion. Yes. Must recover it. Okay. Okay. All right. We've got uh, the direction. Are they concealing themselves well, or did they just not get close enough yet? Okay. Back at the mansion? Interesting. Oh, they're all just taking her treasure. Oh, Deepa. God damn it. Oh, you know what? We did see Deepa. He went into a bar and killed everyone. I, I mentioned we hadn't seen him since he left last episode, but we did. I apologize. Like I said, it had been a bit. As soon as I saw him, I, like, recalled, recalled the bar scene. I was also told that Deepa's voice actor is the same one that plays Natsu from Fairy Tale, and I'm trying to hear it. It's been a long time since I watched Fairy Tale and subbed. I've been rewatching it and dubbed in my own time. 
just like while I have while I'm playing games, I just have it on the other monitor. So that's why I did dub. But it's definitely a different performance the voice actor's putting on for sure. Oh man. Are they just dead? <laughs> Damn, I cannot believe that's Nazi's voice actor. Interesting. I wonder if it's significant at all, or... I guess we've seen other red-eyed people, obviously other than the Sharingan. There was none, there was no, like, the, the commas weren't there, so that's not Sharingan. But just red-eyes. There's been several like, other characters like that. It might mean nothing, but you never know. Jesus, man! Okay. Uh, the other one that died trying to go through the barrier. Oh, flashing back to it. So does he know he's gonna die? He gave up his life for this? I mean, he took off the earring. Oh, that's why he has two of them, okay. Huh. Did he have two holes pierced, like, ready for that? Or did he just jam that thing right through? <laughs> Uh oh. Was that Deepa? Did he catch up already? Oh shit, he did. Well, crap, Ola. We didn't even know what he can do yet. All we've seen is the build up. Whoa. All right, we get to see him now. So he's number seven then? I don't know if that's a ranking or, or how that works. He's got like a jester kind of look to him, doesn't he? Oh, damn, really? Oh, no. Hmm. Excuse me. All 
All right, are we actually going to get to see the fight? Does he have two different colored eyes? I didn't notice that at first. Oh my god. I thought he realized something or he was already like attacked or something when his like face did that thing. I was like Yeah, it's definitely not going to be that. I have a feeling these guys are going to go down. I don't know if they'll die. I don't think they'll die, but I think they might go down. No, he didn't have two different colored eyes. It kind of looked like it from the far shot, though. I'm fairly certain. <laughs> Although I didn't look at the eyes until the last second before it cut away. Oh, damn. They know. Yeah. Okay. Damn, giving up his earring too. They're going to be down to two. Although the Leaf Shinobi aren't going to kill him unless Deepa catches up. Okay, so he's just toying with them. No. Oh. I was gonna say, the, the stuff on his arms almost looks like metal but he, it's also bending with his arms so i don't know what it is whatever it was he was able to block with it nice jeez punched oh oh damn they're a trap okay if it does some kind of metal on his arms that's gonna hurt a little more but definitely not gonna be enough to Take him down. Oh, uh, he's faking it. Yup. Oh, too late. Shit. Damn. Just like that. Well, I have a feeling they're all going to be knocked out, and he's going to catch up to Boruto and them, and then they're going to be like, oh no, what happened to Amoy, you know? Hmm. But they know they're being pursued, so is that intentional? Oh, okay, this is still going on. I didn't think we were going to cut back. I thought we were just going to, like... Man, he hasn't even done any, like, abilities or, you know, jutsu or anything yet. All we've seen him do is punch, which is terrifying. I wonder what kind of jutsu he has. Damn. Unfortunately, I don't have much faith in Omoy, but I, ho I at least hope he doesn't die. 
He's got some really cool moves, though. I like how he's just, like, quick dashes behind him and attack. Reminds me of just, like, a a rogue in a game just teleporting behind their opponent and stuff like that for backstabs. Ooh. Clones. Jeez. He was able to punch all of them that quickly. Jeez. That's crazy that whatever that armor he has on is able to block all that. Or is it like part of his jutsu or ability or whatever? I don't know. But he was just taking those hits. Or some of them, anyway. Little do you know, part of the Kara group you guys are investigating. Alright. Yep, so the distraction. He's focusing in on Boruto, huh? I guess Boruto was the one to confront them, right? So, a little bit of a personal grudge in like the, in the room when they killed him. When they killed the lady. Sakuya. Well, obviously. All right. Oh damn, okay, already over. That went by fast. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm so tired, I don't know. <laughs> that was good though. We got a lot more from Depot. We got to see him outside of his cloak now, some of the moves he had, well, we got to see his physical moves anyway. Dodgy and the armor that blocks for, damn, okay. Oh man. Seeing Amoy again was pretty cool too. I guess I'm just going to talk through the outro so that way I can uh, not end the discussion early, but that way part of the discussion is done through the outro, you know? Not like we need to really listen to this more, right? I mean, I love the song, don't get me wrong. But, uh... But yeah, the, uh... Seeing a boy was cool. I like that they, uh, they, like, I mean, it's not like it's that hard to keep that consistency in his character, but that he, you know, still has his little, like, overthinking mindset, which was, uh, I, I like that they were able to, like, carry that over and stuff like that for the people that know him from old, Na or, uh, Naruto in general, I should say, not old Naruto. Um, but, yeah, um... So they, they weren't bad guys that showed up, like I, like I thought. I thought there were just more bad shinobi showing up. But anyway, that is going to be it, guys, for episode 163. Um, but yeah, so, so they weren't bad shinobi. They were, they were good guys, you know, just trying to verify the, the rumors of the Hidden Leaf Ninja killing Sakuya and, and taking the Hashirama cell and stuff like that. And, uh... And they, they quickly dispelled that thanks to Amoy knowing Konohamaru and, and now they're now they're working together. So that's cool. I, I liked that development, that it wasn't just more bad guys chasing them, you know. Um, they got to confront Deepa, which is a cool little thing that, like... Or I guess Deepa confronted them, essentially. Um, it's a cool little thing that, like, he's a Kara member and they've been looking for a Kara member this whole time, you know. And they just don't even know it yet. So that was just a neat little, like, uh, 
confrontation that we that we had there. Um, other than that, the the fight was was good um, between Deepa and the the Cloud Shinobi. Um, it wasn't anything like spectacular. I, I like Amo- Amoy's moves, being able to like be like kind of like I'm not gonna say teleport. I know he's not, or at least I don't think he's teleporting. I'm, they're just moving really fast. But that thing where they where they move real fast and he just like gets behind him and and tries to do all kinds of like trick hits and everything. But unfortunately, whatever that armor that Deepa has on his arms um, and then like straps going along his shoulders and and on his back and stuff like that was just too strong man it was like it was able to take the hits from his sword and i imagine he's infusing chakra into the blade and doing attacks with it you know Um, i'm pretty sure he did moves like that like that before too um and even that can't cut the wrist so whatever whatever he has is is pretty crazy um and and like i said we we haven't even seen deepa's moves yet like i don't even know we we still have no idea what what type of shinobi he is i guess like because, you know, obviously all these characters always have something special to them. You know, they, they do things a little different. Sometimes you have, like, the more generic characters. But I imagine with uh, with these Kara members, they're going to be all unique and, and interesting. So I'm, I'm really curious what uh, what kind of skill set he's going to have and, and everything. So that's going to be cool to see. I'm sure within the next few episodes we'll find out. Um, once, once things get a little more serious and, and he takes things a little more serious, maybe. Um, but, but yeah, he's just, he's just toying with the Cloud Shinobi right now. And he just seemed to be toying with everyone up to this point. And, and yeah, but, uh, I guess like the people taking from the land of Haze, those Shinobi, we found out that's where they're from. Um, I don't recognize that from anything, but knowing naruto it's been mentioned somewhere before i wouldn't be surprised um they they tend to do that uh but i guess i they're bad they're they're not great people but they're doing a mission for their village so essentially they're on the same track as boruto and them you know it's just they're competing so like I guess I'd say that what they've made some like scumbag moves like framing the the leaf shinobi and, and stuff like that to succeed in their mission, but I can't say that they're like evil people, you know. Um they're just they're just other shinobi doing what shinobi do, you know. So um and, and you can obviously tell that they care for each other, you know. I don't know if they're actually brothers. Um like he said, like I'm not gonna let you catch up to my two brothers. I don't know if they're actual brothers or if they're just, like, a group of friends that are so close they're, like, brothers, you know? But, uh, but yeah, there's definitely, so, even if they're not related, they're definitely close enough to have, like, camaraderie and honoring the other one's death and, and stuff like that and and everything, so. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, whatchamacallit it? I guess, I mean... Honestly, there wasn't that much to this episode. Like, I hate to, I hate to already end the discussion. Like, this does feel like I'm ending it early, but like, I mean, I can I can skim through the episode real fast and see if I'm like being dumb and, and forgetting something. But but really, like, we we had the recap and then the reveal of the Cloud Shinobi, and I already talked about them. Uh, the opening, and then they discuss finding out the the haze, Amoy's personality stuff. Yep, uh, the Hashirama cell, and all of them like trying to take it slow. Deepa doing his thing, catching up to them. You know, um, I don't think any of it was really like other than the Cloud Shinobi showing up, which was really cool. Um, I don't think any thing else was like a big reveal or anything this episode to to really talk about. A lot of it was just fighting and pursuing you know which is kind of like the last episode where they were just kind of you know running the whole time and i guess like deepa's outfit is actually like really cool i like like the i don't know it's not super jestery i think like what makes it jestery for me is having like the one shoulder have like a like uh just like a puffiness to it kind of from the from the look of it and then his like pants are 
like two different colors, which just gives me that like jester vibe. And then his skin is really like pale, which gives me like that kind of like clown ish esque. And then like the face paint and the lipstick and everything, like um, definitely just gives him like a a jester ish clown ish kind of look, you know. But it's a it's a cool look. I think it looks pretty badass. Um, now that I know the voice actor, I guess I could, I, I could make sure to, like, I think I can find that comment real fast here that said that, oh, make sure that Deepa is the one, um, go to notifications here, doopa doopa do. uh, yeah, same voice, uh, yeah, okay, same voice as Natsu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I could maybe kind of hear it, I could maybe kind of hear Natsu a tiny bit in there, but he's definitely doing, like, a a, a deeper, I, th I think he's definitely doing, like, a deeper and, like, more, like, uh, I don't know how to, like, describe it, but he's more, like, he's just more talking like this, and even when he gets excited, he's still doing, like, the lower tone, whereas Natsu is, like, always, like, higher pitch, like, uh, and stuff like that, but it's it's crazy that the this voice actor has that kind of range. He's in, it's incredible, because um, I like I like I said, it's been a very long like I don't think I've watched Fairy Tale in Japanese since the uh, since they finished off the series, um, and I and I did those reactions to it. So the uh, it, it's been quite a bit of time and. Uh, and I'm already really bad at identifying Japanese voice actors and, and stuff like that. Like, some of them I can recognize. But, but yeah, I think he's... I mean, you guys will have to let me know if he's doing, like, a fantastic job or not with, uh... Like, does he sound like Natsu? Like, if I went back and, and watched Fairy Tale, would, would he sound like him? But I, th I think he's doing, like, a good job of sounding a lot different, so... But, yeah, I mean... Other than that, I'm looking forward to seeing more of... Deepa fighting. I want to see what his abilities are, and I look forward to seeing, you know, how strong is this shinobi from the land of Haze? Like, he's confronting, what is that, five shinobi? Granted, uh, three of them are kids, um, but obviously we know that Boruto and, and company are strong too, so will he be able to handle it? Because he said, like, you're gonna die here, so is he that? I mean, he's confident at least, so, but yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it from me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel and get some of these episodes early. I'm a couple episodes ahead all the time on my Patreon, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, the link is in the description below, or you can find it uh, popping up on the screen right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye bye